Hi, my name is Jen and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library Hope Place Branch. And today's craft will be our profile silhouette keepsakes. These keepsakes are perfect for any time you'd like to save a memory as to where maybe you met a loved one or a best friend, maybe a family pet, or you've gone on a trip. Let me show you how to put the project together. Any size frame can be used for this project. I've chosen a five by seven. You'll also need a pair of scissors and precision scissors come in very handy for this. You may need an X-Acto knife. You'll also need a pencil. You may need a Sharpie marker and we're going to use some glue sticks. Also, you will need to either have a side profile picture of whomever you're going to have in your project with you or yourself or you can go onto the internet and look for a profile silhouette picture. And if you wanna have an airplane or hearts, whatever you would like for your destination point picture. Also, you will need a piece of cardstock or um, construction paper. And then you will need a printout of the map that you're going to be using in your photo. Okay, so let's get started. The first part of our project, we're going to go ahead and cut out our map to fit our frame. I have printed up a map of Port Orange. I'm making this for my husband. So we met at Spruce Creek High School as freshmen. And this is where I have my center point, Spruce Creek. So this frame came with a mat. So that's really nice because I'm going to be able to take that mat and put it over the map that I've printed out. And I want to have that point as center as I can. And then I'm going to use this as a template for where I'm going to cut. Now that I have my map all cut out, what I did was I did cut a little bit of a half an inch, a quarter of an inch, half an inch off of each side just to keep it centered because I'm going to go ahead and tape this down to the matting on the frame. just to keep it in place while we're working on it. Next, we're going to take the, either the photo that you have of the person that you're going to use, or if you searched online and found profile pictures that looked very similar to what you needed, I added little hard hands to go over the point. You could put an airplane or a dog, anything that is specific. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Once you've cut out the profile pictures, whether they be from a photograph or from a template, you wanna go ahead and put them on your map inside and make sure that all the sizes look good to you. You wanna make sure that these two, whoever is in your photo, whether it be your friends or loved ones, the faces and everything is proportionate, is about the same size. So everything fits really good on this uh, map. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take these and flip them onto my black cardstock, and then I'm going to trace these out onto my cardstock. So this is what we're looking for. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but because um, we're going to cut this out and then we're going to use the other side. So just be very careful when you go around the nose and the mouth because they're so small. We want to go ahead and be able to see them, but it doesn't have to be in any way perfect. Um, wispy hair. These were just as close as I could possibly get to us when we were kids. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and then we'll keep going. I finished cutting out all of my profiles and as you can see it's super neat because what we've done is we cut it out on the other side and you can still see the um, pencil markings so it didn't have to be perfect but this side that you'll see on your map will be perfect. So let's go ahead and start gluing it down. So now we want to make sure to have our map close by and we're going to have our profile pictures flipped over so that the pencil side shows up and then we're just going to glue. So this came with a backing so I'm just going to use the backing just to get glue all over. I'm going to start with the hard hands so I can cover that point where I have um, Spruce Creek High School. And this glue should dry clear. Particular picture, I started with my hard hands. I have them covering up the point for the special meeting place. So now I'm gonna go ahead and 
attach these as well. So we've almost completed our profile silhouette keepsake. Now, if you would like to go ahead and change the color of your matting, if you would like to go over it with paint or marker, you could do that. Um, you could write a special saying all the way around it. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and write the latitude and longitude of Spruce Creek High School right across the bottom. This is our completed profile silhouette keepsake. I just wanna thank you for joining me for my profile silhouette keepsake video. Uh, as you can see, I've made a couple of examples. So with this one, I put a nice black uh, finish around the frame, uh, left the white here and added the lot latitude and longitude. You could put any saying that you'd like. This one is a little bit different. I made this for my best friend. So we didn't put any hard hands or plain or anything, but I did use some Sharpie markers just to kind of show where we met. We met at Silver Sands Middle School and it was in 1990. So I put BFF 1990 to always. So I can't wait to give her that gift. So I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to check us out on volusialibrary.org where you can search books videos and magazines to get some crafting inspiration. Also, don't forget that we have a Facebook, an Instagram, and a YouTube channel where Volusia is getting crafty. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notifications when we upload a new video. I'll see you on my next video. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.